Hello my amazing artists and welcome back to art class. This week we are creating a new project inspired by an artist who we are actually going to be saying happy birthday to, artist Wayne Tebow. He is still alive. I know most of the artists that we learn about in art class lived a really long time ago, but Wayne Tebow is an American artist who was part of the pop art movement and is well known for a lot of his creations of sweet confections like ice cream sundaes, gumball machines, and different types of cakes and pies. And we're going to look at a couple of his examples. And then you are going to work to create three cupcakes inspired by the artwork of Wayne Tebow while also showing value. So those value scales are going to come into good use with this project. But like I said, he's going to be celebrating a birthday very soon. And the only reason that I bring that up, because usually I don't really bring up artists' birthdays, is because on November 15th, Wayne Tebow is going to be turning, wait for it, 100 years old. Can you believe that? He's going to be 100 years old. That is a huge birthday. That is a huge milestone in his life. So to celebrate his 100th birthday, we are going to be creating some very sweet confections to celebrate along with him. So a lot of his examples of his desserts, and I'm going to bring my issue of Scholastic Art Magazine closer to you so you can see, involve a lot of cakes and things that are very um, neatly set up and put in rows. An important thing to note about his artwork is that not only does he show value or light and dark on the cakes to make them look three-dimensional, he also uses a cast shadow, which are these darker shadows below these cakes that show that they're up in the air on these poles and on these little display um, posts. So those are some of the cakes. Um, here are some pie slices. All right, and again, you can see value. He makes the pie slices look three-dimensional by having them lighter on the top, and then they are a little bit darker on the side, which makes them look 3D, just like a pie slice would look like if you were looking at it in person. Here's another example, the cake with a slice of cake in front of it. Again, all showing lights and darks, and again, cast shadow, showing that it's sitting on a table and that the light is hitting it, and it is casting a shadow onto the surface that it's sitting on, which in this case is probably a countertop or a table. And here's a better shot of that first picture I showed you with all of the cakes and their cast shadows. So since it's his birthday, I figure it only makes sense but and to make, you know, some sort of celebratory dessert to help celebrate his 100th birthday. So we are going to be making some cupcakes. Now I have my example up here and you can see that I showed light and dark with the, um, with the cupcake wrapper, it starts light dark on one side and gradually gets lighter. See, dark, gradually gets lighter, dark, gradually gets lighter. Just like a value scale, which you've already done. So this should be really easy for you guys. Let me move this a little bit closer. All right, and I'm sorry that there's a little bit of a reflection because I did laminate this piece. This was done in chalk and I didn't want to have a mess. And then I also have a cast shadow coming off of the cupcake. Now, with a marker, I'm just going to demonstrate how to draw the three different types of cupcakes. You have just your basic cupcake, one with a little bit fluffier icing, personally those are the ones I like the best, and one with fluffier icing and a cherry on top. You could do one of each. You could decide that you really like this one and do three of these. You could do three of these, three of these, whatever, mix and match. But you are going to do three cupcakes. Now the basic way to draw a cupcake is you're going to start with the cupcake wrapper and the way that we draw those is kind of by drawing a cylinder and then we'll add the icing on top. So for your basic cupcake, you kind of start by drawing like a very shallow looking smile. Then add the sides and again make sure that your bottom is also curved. You don't want any of these to be straight because then they're not going to look like cylinders and they're not going to look 3D at all. And then you can add some lines to your cupcake wrapper. You don't want to add too many. You know, three or four might be fine. These were a little bit bigger, so I added some more. For the basic icing, you are simply going to just add the icing on top. Sometimes I do like a little, a little peak right there. You know, when you usually, you know, take the knife when you're done doing the icing or whatever. 
you're going to show most of the dimension with the icing when you add your value to make it look three-dimensional. You're going to do the same thing for these two, just simply the icing is different. So if I create my cupcake wrapper, all right, I'm going to make two more cupcake wrappers. Super easy. Do my lines that I will later color. For the fancier icing, you kind of almost do like a set of parentheses and then a little swirl, but you don't close it on one end. And then a bigger one on the top. And then it's the same thing for this, except you would only do maybe two layers, stick your cherry on top, close off your icing. So you can kind of play around with your icings. Now, when you are showing value, I'm going to give one of these cupcakes pink icing. I'm going to show it on, I'm going to show it on the basic one. All right. Choose the direction that the light is coming from. It's probably easiest just to copy the direction that I have my light coming from, which is pretending that the light is coming this way. Okay. So that means all of my darker parts will be on this side and the lighter parts will be over here where the light is coming from. So when I'm coloring my icing, I might start off light across the whole thing, but then I'm going to get really dark on the side and just keep it light here. Super, super light, barely touching the paper there, but around this bottom curve and around the side of my icing. Now remember, it's icing, so it's got some swirls to it, all right? You might have like maybe a little darker spot here where there's like a little bit of an icing swirl, but it's going to be darker on one side. And then let's say for example, this cupcake has pink icing and a blue wrapper. Just like my value scale, I'm going to make sure that this is darker and then every box is lighter as I go. So this will be the lightest. This one will be a little smidge darker. This one I can make a little bit darker. All right. And then you can see that it's just like a value scale. You can also add stuff to your cupcakes, like sprinkles. So maybe I want to take a purple crayon here. Or actually, instead of crayon, I might break out the markers. All right. So you can mix, mix and match your materials, too. Maybe you want to, you definitely want to do your icing and your wrappers with colored pencils or crayons, something that's easily blendable, same as your value scale project. But then you can take things like markers to add little details, maybe use a marker to color in the cherry, make sure you add that little shine on the cherry there. If I flatten it, you can see that little white mark there. All right, but you are going to create those cupcakes. Now, I do have to add one more thing. I have to add my cast shadow. You can make your cast shadows black. You can use gray if you want, or if you want to spice it up a little bit, you could add a cast shadow with some color. So all that the cast shadow will be is kind of like this little roundish shape that comes off the side of your cupcake and then you're going to make sure to color it in. Like I said, do you want to make your, you know, your shadows different colors or if you want to just keep it old school and just, you know, use a black crayon to add your shadow or a gray, I would probably suggest a gray. You can do that as well. So I have my cast shadow and my cupcake. And that is what you are going to do. So to review, you need a piece of paper. You need a pencil to draw with. You can also outline it with a black marker. I drew it with a marker just so you could see it a little bit better, but you can definitely outline with a black marker if you would like. So pencil, uh, paper, eraser in case you need it, things to color with, things that are blendable. Um, if you have chalk pastels, feel free to try it with chalk pastels. If you have oil pastels, you can try those. The things that you can blend, and then possibly some markers or paint on hand to add little details like sprinkles and things. All right, so when you are done, make sure you take a picture of your artwork to send to me so I can give you a grade, and I cannot wait to see your wonderful cupcakes to celebrate Wayne Tebow's 100th birthday. Um, and I will see you guys again next time for art class. Bye!